Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am the Average Doomsday Prepping Dude. Today we're going to be talking about how to replace your standard trigger bar with an LTT Langdon Tactical Optimized Performance Trigger Bar in Nickel Boron. Uh, this is my preferred trigger bar of choice, which I'll explain at the end of the video. Um, but the process will be the same for replacing it with a Wilson Combat Trigger Bar, a Nickel Boron Trigger Bar, any trigger bar out there, the process is going to be the same. So let's get started. So the only tools required are a 564 inch hex screwdriver or a 564 inch Allen head if you have the hex screws on your Beretta pistol. Uh, mine actually has a little notch at the tip as you can see here, which I'm going to be using to engage and disengage the spring on the trigger bar itself. If you don't have something with a little notch at the end, uh, then you're going to need a paper clip and a you nose know, pliers and you're going to be making a little fish hook in order to uh, engage the, the spring on the trigger bar and put it back into place. So to make my little fish hook thing, um, what you can do is you're just going to take an ordinary paper clip and undo it all the way. You're going to create a little hook for your finger so you have something to grab onto. And then at the very, very end of it, you're going to take and just bend it over creating a little fish hook. So that's how you make your little fish hook for the trigger bar spring. Okay, so for either method, the first thing you want to do is actually remove the trigger bar spring right here. So put your finger underneath it as so. Use your left thumb fingernail to push down. And it just comes straight out. Don't lose it, put this aside. And now your trigger bar is ready to be removed. So method one is with your 564 inch hex screwdriver. You're going to pull this spring here forward using the little notch. And then as it's being pulled, you're going to pull the trigger bar with your fingers towards you and out. So I'm going to get in the little notch, pull it towards me, have this come out. And then the trigger bar is out, put that aside. Then you're gonna take your trigger bar, you're gonna pull the trigger about halfway, put the trigger bar at inside the trigger, not all the way. Then you're gonna take your hex screwdriver with the little uh, cutout, scoop that under the trigger bar spring itself, pull that forward, pull the, ham pull the trigger back to its original position. Slide it in and you're ready to go. And you put trigger bar spring back. There's a little hole there under and you're ready to go. All right, method two is using your little fish hook paper clip. So with the trigger bar spring already removed, you're going to use the hook to pull the trigger bar spring forward and at the same time again just pull this out now this comes out set that aside get your trigger bar again pull the trigger about halfway then use the hook of your paper clip to get under to get under the actual spring itself as so pull that forward oops this is too far in. Pull that forward and just slide it in. And you're good to go again. Replace the trigger bar spring and that's it. Okay, so why did I put the optimized trigger bar by LTT in over the Wilson Combat trigger bar or just a regular nickel born trigger bar? Well, the reason is simple. Check out this reset. The pistol has been safety checked. So once you pull the trigger and the reset on this is really, really short. There's virtually no over travel and the reset on this is super duper short. So the difference in price between the optimized trigger bar by LTT and the Wilson Combat 
is almost the same price. It's maybe a couple bucks. Uh, they run around 65 to 70 bucks. I prefer the LTT Langdon trigger bar over anything else right now that I've tried it and seen it for myself. Um, this is on my Elite 2 92G Brigadier with my cool custom grips by Lock Grips, Cobra Grips. Um, I like the, the color combination. So, uh, change the trigger bar is pretty simple. It's actually uh, one of the essential upgrades, I think. You can do your pistol and it takes less than a minute to do. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks.